guys, what's going on? It's Yelena from Light Level 7. I am back on the Fancy Pants server. Today, we are going to be working on the ice tray out in the uh, snow biome over here. Um, I was trying to design my own, but I tried for so long and could not find a design that I liked. I just hated every single one I made. So, I was looking up tutorials and I found one by Morillibus. Who I've actually met before, ironically. Um, but, uh, yes, and it's kind of his variation of a ice tray made by JL2579 on one of his server tours. I will put a link in the description to the tutorial that I'm going to be doing. Um, so yes, the first thing I need to do is make a 19 by 19 hole that is 9 deep. So I've marked out 19 by 19 here, and I'm just going to dig a nine deep hole in here so once I do that I will be back see that hey guys I am back I dug the hole and uh, I was just getting one step ahead of you guys and uh, watched a little bit more in the video to uh, see how I do the redstone and then I realized the redstone update has come out since that video was recorded, and his whole redstone contraption thing broke. He had everything worked out so that with one button, it has three different stages of working, and one stage is like refill, the other stage is freezing, the other stage is harvest, and then it just loops right back around. And it was really awesome, and I couldn't wait to build it, and then, yeah. I dug this hole and then realized that it does not work anymore. It is broken. So I made my own redstone for it. It's not nearly as compact and nice looking, but it works. Um, so yeah, I'm going to build that. Um, it'll take me a while to build because I built it in a uh, creative world and um, I don't know it off by heart. So I'm going to be copying it. I'll have it on one, the build on one screen, and I'll be building it on the other screen. So I'm not going to make you guys watch me do that, but I will try to make some sort of uh, like time lapse thing. I've never done it before. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that turns out. I'll be right back. All right, guys. How did you like that? crappy time lapse. I don't think that's going to turn out too well, but we'll see. Okay, now we need to make the uh, the band that releases the water. So, um, yes. This goes like this. It goes... I'm going to use blue wool for this part just so I don't confuse myself, and he used blue wool in his tutorial, and it looks pretty cool when you have a bunch of colorful wiring, so I'm going to do it this way. It goes 18, and I know this is 19 by 19, so I can just do that. I'm going to get rid of all this these stairs and stuff that I put in. I don't really need them here. Other than to get in and out, but who needs to do that? They can get rid of this too. Alright. And this needs to span all the way to the other side as well. And we need to go sleep in a second. Not this one. Alright. Let's go back into the base and sleep before we get, like, creeper bombed and stuff. Because that would not be a good thing when you are building your ice tray. So let's just dive back down. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I put torches on the wall here. I think I mentioned that last episode, but you never know. <sighs> it just all blends together. It really does. Alright. Hello, skeleton. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna shoot you in the face. Alright. So now that we got that, I think we need to run a bunch of wire across it. I should actually probably double check. Yes. Yes, we do. Alright, wire there. Then he actually has repeaters here. And then wire running across the rest of the way. Like that. Alrighty. 
And then... Just gotta maneuver myself in the creative world. Alright, starting after the repeaters, he has a bunch of torches along the side. So, and like so, sweet, and then we take our pistons and we plop them on, oh, can we reach the edge? Eh, not quite. Okay, well, they all need to stand upright on the front face of the torch, like that. So I'm going to hop on top of this one. And place them all like so. Alright. Now to do it on the other side. Cross. That is right, isn't it? No, oh, I missed a spot. Alright. Like that. Man, this takes a long time. Alright. And we've got the uh, the thing there. Alright, next part we need to do is hook up the the yellow circuit, which is the uh, the blocks that come up to make the ice grow or freeze faster. Yeah, freeze. Alright, so now I'll need to figure out how to do that, so bear with me a moment. Alright, guys. I am, Why is it always nighttime when I start recording? Ugh. Gotta go sleep. Okay, well, I finished the, uh, the things. Very tedious and annoying, and you have to, like, count and, like, place stuff. <sighs> yep, but I'm done. So, yep, there's that. Now we have to place the pistons and the redstone that will make that all activate and work like a charm. Oh, in other news, I also, uh, was hearing a bunch of sounds of zombies and stuff, and there was a... Like a tiny little spherical cave, like right underneath there. I can still hear zombies. I think I may have missed another one. But there was one that had like tons of stuff inside of it. So I lit that up, so... Yeah. But I still hear stuff, so there must be another cave somewhere. I'll find that eventually. But yeah, this is what this looks like. It's all staggered and everything. It's pretty intense. So now we just need to pull out these and this... And we're going to need more redstone. And these. So let's start putting that down. Alright, we need to put redstone. Redstone. Hmm. Redstone. Redstone. Repeater. 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 We basically have to put a repeater in front of every single one of these blocks. Like this. Because in front of, on top of all these blocks are going to be pistons sticking upwards that are going to push up the blocks that are going to go into the water. You'll see what I mean when we're done. Right. Like so, like so, like that, like that, like that, like that that like that I wouldn't recommend building this thing if you just started out in your world could it cause, because it is very or is quite resource intensive not terribly but quite resource intensive and then every other block that's left open we need to put redstone on redstone's there you can see why a lot of this I've done off camera, and I need to get more redstone, so I'll do the rest off camera, and then I'll be back for the next part. 
All right, guys, I did that. Now we gotta place the pistons like this on top of every single one. I hope I have enough pistons. I think my my redstone used one or two more pistons than his did, and uh, he gave me the exact amount of pistons that I needed to, needed for this thing. So I I got that exact amount, and I may be short one or two pistons. I'm not sure. We'll see. Or I may have used less than him. I just don't know. We'll see. Or what would be awesome is if I used the same amount. How, how about that? Be pretty cool, yeah? I'm just totally filling in this boring part with random crap that I'm talking. Anyway. Place, 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 place. By the way, if you're if you're doing this, you totally do not need to dig out that massive hole in the bottom. Oh yeah, see I'm short three. I used three more pistons than he did. Wow, that's kind of sad. All right, well we gotta go make some more if I can get out of my redstone. All right, make some more pistons. Ooh, and we should enchant a book or something as well. Yeah, we'll do that. I don't know where that slime is. I hear him. But he's not in the ravine, so there might be another cave somewhere that I don't know of. Alright, we need... Wait. Aha! Yes. Wait. Book. No. Book. No. Book. Yes. Book. Alright. Pop into here. Sharpness 3, the worst you can get. Or the most common thing. <sighs> what you gonna do? Alright! Yes! Success! For now. Now we need to grab the block that we are going to be... Going to be using. And I kind of want to use snow because I'm going to be using a silk touch pick. I don't want to use stone or anything that can easily be destroyed by by my pick. <laughs> so, we're going to make a snow farm, I guess would be a good idea, so we don't have to, like, tear up all this snow. We'll make a quick snow farm. All right. Now, let's build this thing. So, we need glass. We need to place it like this, like this, like this, like this. Yep, we didn't actually need that extra stuff anyway, or the extra glass, but who cares? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Make some snow blocks. Make a golem inside. Boonk. Hello! And now we go like this. Push him into that corner. And. But that's what I feared. Alright. Um. Oh, dang it. Does he drop the pumpkin head when he dies? Not sure. Because all we need to do is really. Okay. Uh, sorry, bud. You need to die. Did he drop the. He didn't drop the pumpkin! Uh, dang it! I have to run back down there. Okay, I'll be back. Alright, guys. I got the guy back. I even brought two heads. Just in case I derped up again. I got some snow. Now we can continue on. So we gotta place the snow above, like so. Slightly rhymed. I hear a skeleton. Is he in my redstone? There's a high chance that he could be. Yep, he is. He's down there. Great. Alright. Oh, he's shooting at us now. Skeleton parkour. Slash building. This is awesome. Alright. We did that. And now, I suppose we put the floor in. That would make sense. So the floor is going to be snow anyway. Um, we should actually probably test to see if this contraption actually works. So, uh, 
Okay, so the mode it's in right now is... I can't exactly see what mode it is. We'll see. Okay, so I just went into refill mode. Now the next mode is freeze mode, so all the things should pop up now. Yep. All right. They all popped up. We missed some here. All right. They all popped up, and then the next mode is harvest mode, so they should all go down, but these should stay up. Yes. All right, we did the redstone right. We did it right. That's awesome. All right. So... Yes, yeah, so and now it's reset itself, so it's uh, it's gonna refill mode again. So all those get pissed, they're gonna go down, and they're gonna go back up, and all those are gonna pop up, and then they're gonna go down, and those are gonna stay up. Yep, and then it'll just loop continuously. Um, all right, so I'm not gonna waste my super shovel on making snow. I'm gonna chop down this tree and make a bunch of stone picks. And I'll get a crap ton of snow, and then I'll see you guys then. Alright, guys, I got a bunch of snow. Should be enough for to finish this project. So let's just start placing it inside our snow farm. Oops. It's a problem with me and Skelly Bob here. Oh, he brought his friend. Dang it. Ah, they have nothing on me. They ain't got nothing on me. And I left all the torches up in the ender chest. Alright, well, I'll go get those torches. And we're gonna light everything up down there. Just so we can keep working throughout the night. Alright, spam the torches. Yeah, this is a, a lot of unused space when you're digging this out, if you're going to do it. Um, yeah, you don't need to dig out that much space. Just so you know. And uh, this redstone here can probably be a lot more compact than it is, but... I just I'm just happy that I got it working. I'm not going to be fussy with this size of it. As of now, at least. There's lots of room down here anyway. It's not like I'm restricted to a certain area. I've got lots of room to expand. But yeah, it's a nice little contraption. I'm happy with it. Alright, we can get rid of that pillar. We don't need that anymore. Alright, let's go back up and continue placing our snow. After eating some potato. Alright. No more time to waste. We must place more snow. And we missed a spot with our piston there. We missed a piston spot. There we go. I don't like how they break into snowballs. It's really annoying. And you have to craft them all up again. <sighs> the sound of snow being placed is really relaxing, though. I like it. Suddenly it stops making the noise. Why? Why? It's not making the placing sound anymore. Oh! There we go. Because there's a little bit of lag. Got it all at once. Alright. Good. We got a nice flat surface. Awesome. Alright. Well, I will... Well, what's next is a little bit of, like, steps and curvature and stuff. That'll take a lot of looking back and forth onto the other screen. So I'll just finish that. And then I'll show you guys the finished product. I'll be right back. Alright, guys. I messed up right there. Hold on a second. All right, guys. <laughs> I am done. Look at it. It's amazing. We have now completed the ice tray. So let's test it. So hopefully, if it works right, it should be on the cycle where all these 
These blocks over here will pop down and it will fill the whole thing up. Yes! And it fills up completely, perfectly fine. Uh huh. Perfect. Alright, and now we press it again. All those go up. Alright, and those close again. Perfect. And now we just have to wait for this to fill up. Guys, I was waiting here, waiting for the, uh, the ice to go back, and I looked over in this direction, and look right up there in the sky. You see that flashing black dot? What is that? I have no idea what the heck that is. What the heck? Uh, let's go find out what that is. I love how the squid make walking sounds. I always think there's something like walking near me, but it's just the squid. It's still flashing. Alright, we gotta find the spot where it is. Over here. Over here. Over here. Right here. We gotta find out. We gotta get to the bottom of this. Still further up. Still. What is that? Where is it? Too high? It's right there. Okay. So it's like this block right in front of us. It's just, just blinking black. What? Where'd it go? Went too close? Okay, so we can't see it flashing if I'm standing in it. But I move back, it's fine. I don't even know what that is. What the heck? <laughs> That's weird. Uh. Uh, do you guys know what it is? Because whoa, you can dig sand so or dig snow so fast that it falls out from underneath you before you even uh, before you even know what happened. I guess. Oh my goodness, guys! It's done. It's done. It's exciting. All right, press the button. All those things go down. Now it's harvest mode. So we hop in here and. stuff. Mind that. Is my inventory full? Nope, I'm just lagging a little bit. Alright. We have two stacks and 52 blocks from a full harvest. We press the button again and it floods. And once it's done flooding, There we go, and it'll start freezing again. All right. Well, we have done this epic project today, and I think that is time to end the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give me any suggestions that you have for things to build on the server, because I'm always open to new ideas. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.